Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome to uh, dealing with materials data. We are going to learn about uh, uh, collection, analysis and interpretation of uh, materials data. And uh, we are doing module 2 which is for uh, descriptive statistics using R. And uh, so we have been looking at uh, preparing reports and uh, we have looked at uh, rank based and property based reports. So let us concentrate on the property based uh, reports a little bit more. So to do that uh, we are, have been looking at uh, this uh, data on uh, conductivity. So let us uh, read that uh, file from data. So this is uh, uh, data on copper ETP copper electrical conductivity, electrolytic tough pitch copper conductivity. So let us first uh, read this information. So it has 20 observations and one variable. So there is uh, this, so it has a header. So we say header is true, okay. So let us say x and it gives you this and we have looked at this data in a little bit of detail uh, in the last session. So uh, what we want to do, okay, so let us just uh, store the conductivity data in this small x, okay. So these are all just numerical values, so x now has just these numbers. Uh, like I said, okay, so you can get the mean value of x, you can get the median of x, you can get the variance of x. Um, variance is also called uh, uh, mean square deviation and uh, uh, standard deviation is called root mean square deviation. Now, as you can see, the measurements of conductivity itself was reported only up to the first decimal place because beyond this uh, the eddy current uh, measurement cannot be accurate. So, so when we report the conductivity then we report uh, the mean plus or minus standard deviation. So typically it is reported this plus or minus standard deviation. And here it is important not to report the result as 101.32 plus or minus 0.1005249 because beyond this point the rest of the numbers do not make any sense. Of course, if you do an algebra you will get, uh, but the numbers themselves do not mean anything. So we should take everything up to only the first decimal point or maybe even less than that, but at least we, you cannot report any value in the second decimal place that much is very clear. It should be here or maybe uh, here, but it cannot be anything beyond this point. So, so the right way to report this number, now the conductivity of this ETP copper is 101.3 plus or minus 0.1. Okay. So, this is called the significant digit, beyond this digit the numbers have no significance, they, they do not have any meaning and we should not use them. So, this is an important point and it is uh, uh, very crucial. So, so, we want to present experimental results and we need to understand significant digits and error when we present the results. Okay. So again this is uh, ETP copper and the measurement is uh, in terms of ISCS and these are the numbers and what we did is to calculate the mean, median, standard deviation and variance and standard deviation is called root mean square deviation RMSD and variance is called mean square deviation MSD. And because all the conductivity measurements are reported up to first decimal place, the mean and standard deviation also should be reported only up to this or less than this, it cannot be more than that. So mean is 101.3, standard deviation is 0.1. So the right way to report conductivity for this uh, copper sample is 101.3 plus or minus 0.1 percentage IACS. 
And because we have seen that in the case of this conductivity data, the data seems to be a normal distribution. So, giving mean and standard deviation is sufficient to completely describe the information. And there is one more point in terms of reporting the error. So, we have reported the error as a point 1. So, that is in terms of the value itself. So, this point 1 also has the unit of percentage ISES, uh, but you can also report it as a percentage itself. Uh, you can report 101.3 percentage ISES plus or minus 0.1 percent. Uh, there should be no confusion that the point 0.1 just becomes point 0.1 percent that is not the case and this percentage is with percentage ISES it is with the unit. If you take point 0.1 and divide by 101.3 that also happens to be point 0.1 percent and that is why it is reported as a relative quantity as point 0.1 percent. So, it is 101.3 plus or minus point 0.1 percent percent ISES is the um, correct way of reporting. So, the error uh, can be reported in uh, both ways uh, as an absolute error or as a relative error and, uh, and, and you can do either way. And one more point that we have to remember is that it is better to be conservative in error estimation, right. If your calculations give some number like 1.475 for error, uh, we should put it up as 2 instead of rounding down to 1, right. 0.1.475. Uh, so, it is it's better to call it as uh, 2 even though you, you might think that 1.4 or, or even if it is 1.375 for example, which makes it 1.4, uh, we should still report it as 2. This is just being conservative, right. We are not saying that. So, if you actually round it off, um, it should be 1.1 1 say. Uh, but even then if it is an error, uh, if you want to be conservative about uh, error estimates, you should always uh, round it uh, up instead of rounding it down. So, it is a good practice. Um, so, so, this is about significant digits and error. We will do more of the analysis on uh, errors uh, later. Uh, this is just in terms of reporting uh, the observed values. So, we will take a look at uh, slightly more involved uh, data. So, we just looked at uh, one property measurement which is conductivity and we found that 20 measurements gave some number and uh, from there we prepared some reports on the uh, rank based and uh, property based uh, values for this data. Uh, but uh, we can do it for uh, more complicated data also. So, we are going to next consider uh, another uh, sort of measurement that is very, very common in material science, uh, but uh, it is slightly different in terms of uh, how we measure uh, this quantity. So, we are going to discuss this, that in greater detail in the next session. Thank you.